So we're gonna do a, a venison recipe tonight. My dad and I just shot a buck two days ago. Most importantly, we have some back scrap steaks that have never been frozen, and uh, we're gonna fry them up. So I'm taking a spin off of a pretty classic recipe um, where you just put butter in a pan and fry them up until they're ready. But uh, we're gonna take the loins, for back straps, some butter, real butter, none of that margarine, uh, an onion, Everglades seasoning, and shore lunch. You can use any shore lunch, just as beer batter, but uh, we're not putting beer in it. We're just going to use uh, water to mix it in and uh, make your shore lunch mix. So, uh, yeah, oh, and we're going to do baked potatoes, but. Yeah, those are going in the microwave. So I'm gonna prep our food first. Uh, start chopping this onion. Slice it and dice it. Cause we're gonna be throwing this in first. All right, so we're gonna start our fry pan here. So turn it up to between 200 and 250, so let's call it 225. Take a half a stick of butter. And we are gonna throw it in there. Get that thing melting. Take your knife, start coating the bottom and stuff. Make sure our, our steaks don't stick. It gives it extra flavor. Once we throw the onions in here, it's gonna get that onion flavor in there as well. Like I said before, if you want to throw garlic in, you can do that. Everybody loves garlic butter. If you don't, you're lying. All right, so now we're gonna mix up our shore lunch. Brand new pack, brand new box of it. Gotta get a shears for that. Go powder first. Always add more powder. More batter. And stick that back in the box. Okay. Oh, smell my jersey. Just mix that up. So it starts getting thick and you might need to add some more water. You can always add more water. You can't take water out. So our butter's melted. Onions are diced, chopped up. We're gonna add those to our frying pan. Get those started first. We're gonna leave them in for about five to 10 minutes before we start our, our steaks. As these onions are frying, just sprinkle them with some Everglades. Everglades has a really good mix of spices, so it's kind of an all-in-one. Instead of doing garlic powder and onion salt like we always have, we started using Everglades, which has all of that in it, plus some other secret ingredients. So if you guys like baked potatoes and you don't have one of these, you're missing out. You can make baked potatoes in the microwave. So what you do is you wash up your potatoes, get them nice and wet, you wrap them in a paper towel, stick them in this pouch, nuke them for six minutes, baked potato. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so now we start putting each one of these pieces of venison, each steak, in our shore lunch batter then immediately into our frying pan. So, one at a time, coat each side. And lay them right in your frying pan. Each one, both sides. 
If you have to make up a little more shore lunch, I'm going to have to. That's just fun. We're cooking on really low heat. You just want to brown these. Still want them. You don't want them to be super rare, but you don't want them to be very well done. You want to cook these slow. Onions will add extra flavor. Everglades seasoning will add extra flavor. Butter will as well. So this is what this looks like now. Um, we're cooking it real slow. We just got started. This is uh, a low heat fry. So this batter you see right now is gonna, it's gonna bread up. It's gonna give it a nice coating. That Everglades is gonna be inside. Just being tasty as hell like always. And uh, we got our potatoes cooking. All we gotta do is put a lid on this and wait. It takes about 10, 15 minutes just to brown it up and, and get that breading nice and crispy. So these have been on for about five minutes now. What you're gonna wanna do is flip them over a couple times. Go ahead as you're turning over the steaks, feel free to turn over some of the onions too. flipped once, um, depending on how done they are, we may flip them again, but uh, just use your own judgment. Um, they should be nice and crisped up, or if you didn't use the shore lunch, um, just wait until they brown up. Uh, you just don't want a rare, really pink set. All right, so they've been cooking for about five minutes after we first flipped them. Um, take a look, depending on how done they are, flip them again or if you want them to be a little more crispy with the breading, or if you just like them more well done. Feel free to do that. They're looking really good. So I'll go ahead, set the cover down. Let's get a look at this real quick. Right there. Nice and breaded. Not too done. Done just right. Get all the onions, all the steaks out of the fry pan into one delicious pile. Delicious, rewarding, self shot venison. Butcher it yourself, process it yourself, cook it yourself, as good as it gets. All right, so we got our meal done up, we got our baked potatoes, we got our venison steaks there, we got our onions, uh, we got some toppings on baked potatoes, obviously a glass of milk from Wisconsin. Yeah, this meal doesn't get any more Wisconsin than this. A uh, few things on venison, it's leaner than beef, it's better for you than beef. These are grass-fed deer. Mm. This deer that we shot was filled with grass, weeds, great agricultural crops. It's really clean meat. So let's try the first bite. Oh yeah, not too done, not super pink. A little bit of onions on top, you gotta love that bite. Does not get better than that. Tender, tender, tender. So much better than when it's after it's frozen. It This is just no comparison, this is excellent. So get out there, if you're not licensed to hunt, go take hunter safety. Um, talk to people that have been hunting for a long time. Don't reinvent the wheel. Get out there, whether it's whether it's a whether it's a bow or it's a rifle, and uh, yeah, get out there and get some venison for yourself. One deer can feed you all year long. So yeah, thanks for watching.